guys, today is number our 55th video in a row and we are headed to Publix. We were supposed to do some fishing today, but unfortunately that did not happen uh, because it's blowing 25 knots today and also I ended up not feeling good this morning. So we didn't go fishing, but what we decided to do was uh, we're going to make a recipe that Tiffany Temples had sent us in the mail. Thank you very much. So we're picking up the ingredients at the store, Publix, and then um, we're going to cook the food. We've already defrosted some Wahoo, so we're all set. And now we just have to get the ingredients. We're back from Publix, and we're going to dive into this recipe that Tiffany Temple sent us. We've got the recipe right up here in the cabinet so we can follow it. But basically, and all the ingredients are going to be in the description below in the recipe, of course, we're going to use this uh, fish fry uh, stuff, the coating. Southern is style, very important. Southern style, very important. We had a different style actually in the, in the cabinet, but we went and bought this special, as you just saw. Uh, and then you're going to mix it into Parmesan cheese, some Romano cheese, some salt, uh, coat the fish, throw it in the oven. And uh, that's, the, that's the gist of it. We also have some vegetables we're cooking. We're going to tell you about that soon, too. Uh, but let's get right to it. All right, so we got to preheat to 400. So it's 400? Mm -hmm. All right, preheating the oven to 400. We're using Wahoo today because that's what we have. Uh, Tiffany recommends bass or tilapia. But we don't really eat bass or tilapia around here. So here we go. I think only like a third of it, right? Well, she said about a third of it, but it depends on how much fish you have. And of course, I'm not measuring it because Tiffany was wanted to remind us that. Yeah, Tiffany said um, she actually said, in case you didn't know, Southern people don't measure ingredients. So that's exactly what we're doing. There'll be no measuring this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I got this big thing Romano from Costco. I like it a lot, so we're gonna put more in. Nice. Making a mess, spilling it all over the floor. That's his favorite thing to do. <laughs> all right, now we, need, now we need to... I got this fancy Parmesan. We're going to grate it up. Grade, grade, grade. Keep it in the bowl. See it flying off the counter. All right, mix it up a little. Now, Tiffany recommends adding some salt, but cheese is very salty. She might be a little younger than us, so I'm not, I'm not sure how much additional salt we're going to add here. Alright, we're supposed to put about two tablespoons of butter in the baking dish. I'm just going to throw it right in the baking dish. I'm going to microwave it. And we're going to microwave it right in there. Okay. Why dirty two pans? Alright, let's melt this up. Alright, now I'm going to coat the fish and just throw it into this pan. I melted the butter, you can see. And uh, so that's just what we're going to do. All right, we got the fish all, all uh, covered, and we're going to put it in the oven. Tiffany says that we just put it in there as long as it takes until it gets to a golden brown. Yeah. So they don't time things in the southern either. <laughs> so I think, typically, I think a good rule of thumb for fish is 10 minutes per inch or something like that. So that's what we're going to go for. All right, so with the fish in, I'm going to put it in for 15 minutes and then check it. For our side dish to have with our fish, we're going to be having some yummy butternut squash. And um, I'm going to tell you what we did because it's a really good, healthy way to have a side, a side dish with your main course. And um, I don't know if you guys do this already, but if not, it's pretty easy and just really simple and super delicious. And um, this is butternut squash. What we did is we cut it in half. And you can see how we cut it, off, cut it in half. We cut it in half so it lays on both sides, not um, horizontally. You want to cut it vertically. And then you basically scoop out the seeds on both sides. Once the seeds are scooped out, then you just go ahead and add some butter to it. And um, if not, you don't like butter, you can use some like brown sugar. That's even more delicious. And then um, we put some seasoning on it. We put garlic, salt, and pepper. And then we just stuck it in the oven at about 400 degrees. And it usually takes a while to cook between an hour to an hour and a half. And um, once it comes out of the oven, it's just super delicious. It should be really soft 
you stick a fork in it and the fork will um, go through really easily, that means it's done. And it's just a really delicious side dish. You can probably cook it at 350. I like to cook it at 400 degrees so that way it cooks faster. Um, but I love butternut squash, it's awesome. All right, I've done a finger test, and I think it needs to be cooked a little longer. It looks good. I think she didn't say anything about turning it over. It's almost golden brown. I'm going to cook it in for another. If it's in there for 15, I'm going to try another five or six and test it again. That looks done, right? I'm not touching it. Done. All right, it looks done. Let's try it. A little too hot for me to try. Brian's going to try it right out of the oven because he's crazy like that. It's time for the taste test, and I'm the guinea pig. Let me taste some of that. All right. If nothing else, it's a, it looks like a pretty simple meal to cook. Just coated the fish, and we baked those squash like we told you. Yeah. So. He's got an iron mouth that just came out of the oven, so he's going to taste it. <laughs> well. It's pretty delicious. Considering it's so super easy to make. Yeah, it's good. It's easy, one, two, three, in the oven. Yeah, it's delicious. Really you, could, you could even put cheese on that. We did cheese on that. Oh, yeah, in the coating. But you could put dark like a lot of cheese. You could put it more on there. You can make sandwiches out of that, even. That's yeah. pretty good. Oh man, it's really hot. Oh man, it's too hot. Let me have another piece. <laughs> it's good. I have some sort of superpower when my mouth and hands can withstand high temperatures. Hot. <laughs> it's delicious and quick and easy. And you know, I know we got two of the same colors and the same shapes food on our plate. I took home ec in high school. And you should have some different colors on there, but we don't care. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good food all around. We love fish. Fish is healthy and can't beat squash, butternut squash. No, it's good. If we had sugar on that, then it would be bad. But, you know, <laughs> it's always, everything's always better with sugar. But <laughs> yes. it's really awesome. Thank you good. so much, Tiffany. Thanks so much, Tiffany. Really awesome. Yeah. Now, now we're going to eat our dinner, but uh, I guess we're going to wrap this up. Sorry, it's a little bit of a short video today. Tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to get out to that inlet. Yeah. And then this weekend, we got two days on Lake Okeechobee with Gambler. It's very exciting. Super exciting. Yeah, we're going to be chasing that 10-pound bass. Yeah. Well, two Woo! days, two full days on Lake Okeechobee. We're staying at Roland Martin's Resort up there. It's going to be sick. Uh, also, I was just setting up a meeting with the Lanchar guys today. So we got a lot of good stuff coming up. And, oh, I never even mentioned that we also got a little bit, we also uh, going to be doing some more stuff with Mustad Hooks in, in the new year. Yeah. Um, I was just talking to them the other day, and they've, they've upped uh, our collaborations, and so we're doing more with them, so that's, that, that's uh, very exciting. Expect to see more videos with Mustad hooks. Yeah, some how-tos and, and stuff like that. So, you know, we really like Mustad, and we're happy, uh, you know, to be honored to be working with the biggest hook company on the planet. Yes. Right? And, yeah. uh, why don't you wrap it up? Yeah. Um, all right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want the recipe, it's going to be in the description below. Super easy. You know, one, two, three, just have basic ingredients and make sure you get that specific fish fry and um, you'll be good to go. Once again, thank you so much, Tiffany Temples. You're the best. Thank you for sending me some fan mail. If any of you want to send me some fan mail, go right ahead. I have a P.O. box listed in the description below, and that's exactly what Tiffany de did. She sent us a little letter, and she wrote out the whole recipe, so that was really nice of her. So if you guys would like to do the same, Find that information below. And we'll be back tomorrow with another exciting adventure. There will definitely be some fishing, I promise. And um, until our next adventure, follow your mm -hmm. dream and keep, keep on, on catching. Catch <laughs>